The Fraunhofer Center for Sustainable Energy Systems, located in a remodeled furniture factory in Cambridge, Massachusetts, includes labs devoted to making solar power cheaper. While most researchers focus on improving solar cells, the active component of a solar panel, these labs work to improve the rest of the system, the way the cells are connected, protected, and installed, which together account for more than half of the cost of solar power today. The center has the ability to manufacture solar panels, varying each part of them to improve their performance and durability and reduce costs. It can also test the panels to simulate real-world weather conditions to assure that the panels can last for decades. To build solar panels, the lab scientists first sort through the solar cells supplied by various manufacturers. Scientist Teresa Christian subjects a solar cell to simulated sunlight to measure its performance. After the cells are sorted by performance, Adam Stokes connects them together. This machine fuses flat conductive metal tapes, called bus bars, to silver contacts on each solar cell. The lab can vary the type of bus bar used to increase the amount of light that reaches the solar cell material, for example. It can also vary the number of solar cells in a string according to the design of a solar panel. After a string of cells is complete, Teresa Christian takes the string to a soldering station to electrically connect the bus bars. The next step is to seal the solar cells against the elements. The researchers lay a film of laminating material on the cells, then cover them with a glass sheet that forms the front of the solar panel. Then they add a plastic material to seal the back. The center tests new encapsulating materials that can allow solar panels to last longer, indirectly decreasing the cost of solar power. This package is heated inside a large laminating machine, which permanently glues it together. The group leader, Dam Doble, demonstrates the machine. The panels will be completely covered before the lid is shut. Once the panel is sealed, Carola Volker subjects it to one of the tests the Fraunhofer Institute has invented. A rubber bladder inflates to simulate a load of snow as this chamber subjects the panel to freezing temperatures. Another test involves subjecting the panel to high voltages to ensure that there are no leaks of electrical current. After the panel is submerged, any leaking current can be measured through the water. The center is also inventing better ways to install solar panels. A conventional solar panel is connected to electrical circuits through a junction box on the back. Adding the box involves drilling a hole through the encapsulating material, making the panel vulnerable to moisture. A new design involves a tab that can be sealed into the panel during the lamination process, eliminating the need to cut into the panel. This design is being modified to allow solar panels to be snapped together edge to edge, speeding up installation. The lab also runs computer simulations to determine why solar panels fail and to suggest ways to improve them. This one simulates stress on a large solar panel at mounting points.